What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I wanted to provide an update. Is There's a pretty big news story going on right now, which is, in my opinion, 100% fabricated, at least the motivations for it. I'm going to prove my case. Now, there's a lot of cronyism and a lot of same-teamism that happens on the right, just like it happens on the left, and it does kind of create this grading relationship sometimes as I've been exposing the many lies of this individual over the past few years. Uh, there are still a lot of people on my Twitter feed that argue with me and are mad that I would dare to call out someone who's quote unquote on our side. I would submit to you though, that this isn't a crusade against our side, simply those that would grift and pose on our side, quote unquote, um, for financial profit. Ian Miles Chong is somebody that I've made numerous videos about, and now he has been banned from PayPal by his own words with zero evidence because of his personal politics. Now, make no mistake about it. It is my opinion that Ian Miles Chong is lying and that people on our side who are signal boosting this ridiculous article on the Post Millennial claiming that he was banned for political reasons are not your friend. Anybody who plays same team, so I'm going to turn the other way and I'm not going to call out my own. This is exactly how you get how those crazy leftists are. And it's not okay. It may be uncomfortable for some people to hear, but Ian Miles Chong is a grifter in my opinion. He is a liar in my opinion. He has stolen money from me. That is a fact. He has stolen money from a crowdfunder. That is a fact. He has swatted people. That is a fact. He has doxxed and allegedly also got a dog injured in another situation. Ian Miles Chong is a grifter by the literal definition of it. Just a few years ago, this man, again, referred to himself as a turbo feminist. There's something very suspicious about these I used to be a lefty, but now I'm a righty. Give me your money, conserva conservative people. We saw this with Jack Murphy, and now we've seen it with Ian Miles Chong. Both of these people whose entire brand is, I used to be an SJW, I used to be blue-pilled, I used to be... But now you can trust me, I'm one, of, I'm one of the good guys. This is an easy grift that's been being done for years, and Ian Miles Chong is executing it perfectly, and too many people are too afraid to point it out. They're afraid. There are large people on the right who continue to retweet this story with zero evidence of it. And I'm going to submit to you the real reason why he was probably banned from PayPal and to show you just what kind of character he is. Again, this article here written, written on the Post Millennial, which uh, I, really I, I really like Libby Evans, but again, the implication here is simply because one of ours got banned from PayPal, it must have been political persecution. Ian Miles Chung does not have a platform. He doesn't have a wildly popular YouTube channel. He doesn't have, you know, hundreds of thousands of retweets every time he puts something out. He is not on PayPal or MasterCard's radar by any stretch of the imagination, yet he would like you to believe that he's just one of us suffering under political persecution with no evidence. His evidence to me was calling me fat and then posting a generic email that his account was closed. It included zero evidence that any of it was politically motivated. Now, some of you may say, hey, you know, they're not going to come right out and say it. And you're right. But that is the benefit of the doubt. That is the gray area that the grifter uses to get your money and your attention. Okay, this article on Tuesday, online financial services PayPal permanently banned the account of journalist, he's not a journalist, Ian Miles Chong, reported the news on Twitter with some surprise. PayPal just informed me, he wrote, that they have permanently banned my account. As to for the reason for the ban, he said the company declined to give an explicit reason. Well, in the past, PayPal has absolutely given reason for when they ban people for political reasons. You can look up when they banned... Um, the the white identitarian guy or other people of that nature they've come out and claimed it again ian miles chong is not even close to relevant enough to to be on paypal's radar and he doesn't have 
he's he's not doing that kind of revenue that PayPal would even be watching him. He writes, quote, the supervisor was extremely rude and implied that it had everything to do with my politics. Evidence? Dude, trust me, bro. Um, ridiculous. 13,000 people fooled. Chong writes on the Post Millennial, they wouldn't let me know which rule I broke or how. They gave me a lecture and said on how journalists don't reveal sources. Um, here's the thing. Any good journalist would have recorded this phone call. If I was banned by PayPal, you better believe I would been have I would have recorded the phone call for my lawyers. But conveniently, Ian Miles Chong didn't do that. What Ian Miles Chong did was post his Ethereum wallet so that you could give him money. That's what he did. Immediately after making up this excuse, he posts his Bitcoin and Ethereum wallets so you can give him your money. Again, I submit to you, why do I think this? Well, give a listen to this, a video that all of you should have heard by now. You're hearing the voice of Ian Miles Chong bragging about swatting somebody. Thing out, saying that he's gonna make a video on me. That really actually set me off. Um, I did not need to see that. I'm more than happy to just let him leave me alone, but he forced my hand. So I called the police. I actually, I actually called the police on him. Uh, I know what he does. I know he has illegal firearms. I know that he uh, is deeply entrenched in the alt-right. I know that he has a lot of cocaine. Make no mistake about it. Ian Miles Chong did this because of a dispute over a joint YouTube channel that he had with a guy named Andy Worski. So a business dispute led to Ian Miles Chong legitimately trying to guide to get this guy's life ended by police. There's a specific reason that Ian Miles Chong mentioned that he had allegedly pew pews and all sorts of other stuff because he wanted maximum chance that those cops were gonna break in and and uh, and shoot first and ask questions later. Despicable. I don't know how many times I gotta show people this before they see the real uh, Ian. Yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked. I... So, who knows? Maybe they'll pay him a visit very soon. Maybe they'll maybe they'll t pay him a visit real soon. And here, what I th what I also would like to submit as the very likely reason he's another Ian Miles Strong banger. I enjoyed his work a lot, but Jordan Peterson is lost. He had a horrific mental breakdown during a recent interview with Rex Murphy, where he literally cries about getting mean tweets. Become anti fragile or die. You know who spent two hours on the phone with me crying his eyes out after I fired him for stealing money from me? Ian Miles Chong. So Ian, become anti-fragile, man. I mean, come on, men don't cry, right? When men get caught stealing my money and giving it to e-girls so they could buy iPhones, uh, and then when that money dries up, those e-girls break up with them, they don't call me on the phone and bawl their eyes out. Become anti-fragile, Ian. And also... He posts this last night in response to my skepticism. This is for the morbidly obese J.A. who made a dozen tweets about how I'm lying about PayPal banning me. I took this minutes after the ban. So his response uh, to my skepticism that he was banned for political reasons is to call me morbidly obese. Again, this is the actions of somebody that so many on the right and so many in the center trust. Okay, and by the way, this is just a generic PayPal, you've been terminated. It has nothing to meant. it doesn't back up his story in the slightest. I never argued that his PayPal wasn't banned. I argued that it was for political persecution. And you can see here, Sophia Narwitz asking PayPal, Hey PayPal, now that articles are being written about this, thus making it a matter of public interest that is potentially harmful to your reputation, could you please comment? When the ban was the ban politically motivated or was it due to the new ID verification rules? You see, on January 2nd, there was a new ID verification rule put into place at PayPal. And a lot of people are saying incorrectly that, oh, why would the IRS? He lives in Malaysia. That can't possibly affect him. Wrong. Look at what YouTube did when it started taxing every single international YouTuber simply because the money was coming from the United States. That happened late last year or in the summer. 
they our IRS rules here in the United States apply to everybody in the world through YouTube. The IRS's reach can be uh, expanded through corporations that you do work with. Thus, PayPal, a United States company, probably had the same thing. So the IRS now, of course, you must, in order to keep getting paid, you must provide your tax ID number and an identification. I would submit that this is highly likely to be the reason that Ian Miles Chong was banned and not political reasons based on the numerous lies that Ian Miles Chong has told over the years. Now, if you want to close your eyes and say, everybody on the right is just good uh, because they agree with me or everybody in the center is just good because, you know, Ian Miles Chong is a, uh, a fellow and, you know, he doesn't like SJWs. Take a look at just some of the articles written about who this guy was. This guy, uh, again, you see here, uh, uh, known for his commentary on Twitter, which is most mostly just taking videos from other people and posting them as his own. This is a man that lives in Malaysia and profits grifts off American politics. And for some unknown reason, so many on the right ignore obvious. Like, bro, I would never ever associate myself willingly with somebody who has openly bragged about swatting somebody. I, and that isn't even the dog thing, the, the dog getting hit with a flashbang. That's another thing attached to him. Um, again, again, I've told you that he stole money from our crowdfunding to pay to an e-girl. This is a guy that keeps getting chance after chance after chance because he has a blue check mark. And people think, oh, a blue check mark that says things I agree with? I must back this guy up. No, he is a grifter in my opinion, and people need to, you know, examine their own bubbles sometimes. This guy is not who he says he is. I don't believe for one hot second that he was banned for political reasons. He's just spinning it so he can steal your Ethereum and Bitcoin. This is a man that just a few years ago called himself a turbo feminist. Initially, Chong, who described himself as a turbo feminist at the time, leapt to the defense of female game developers such as Zoe Quinn. But Chong's politics would begin shifting to the far right as years went on. You mean he followed the money? You mean he followed the exact same path as Jack Murphy? Come on, guys. Just because people say things we agree with doesn't mean we can't call them out. And I'm calling this out. And I'm calling my friends here you know, Jack Posobiec, who's retweeting this, the post-millennial who wrote this article with zero evidence. Absolutely not okay. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.